Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom and today we're going to be doing another hardware segment with a breadboard and today's goal is making a RGB LED that is stand for red, green, blue just in case you didn't know and we're just going to make it so it changes different colors. So we're going to be using a larger breadboard here today just because it's easier on these videos to spread the circuit out and show you exactly what we're doing. I'll post some pictures up here and there, uh, kind of breaking stuff down in a little bit easier way to see. So I'm going to start by connecting my power supply here, which in the last video I showed you a little bit about this. You don't have to use one of these. If you want to use like a 9 volt battery, that's perfectly fine. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our power, make sure it's working. Looks good. So I'm going to start with, this is going to be like my starting power. It's going to be just three yellow wires, why not? And three buttons. We're going to be using red, green, blue because, well, that makes sense, right? That's what we're doing here. So with these, the pins on both sides kind of bend in a different direction. We want those to be on the opposite sides of the board since we're using the middle. This really is only going to fit in the middle in a certain way. And these can honestly be kind of a pain to push in. Sometimes I accidentally bend the wires. If you do that, you can actually use pliers or your fingernails if you have them. And let's put blue in there. Now you don't have to use these kind of buttons I'm using. You can use switches, simpler buttons like I did in the last video. Uh, really doesn't matter. I'll do a video later on explaining like what are the pros and cons to different kinds of switches and whatnot. So let's go ahead and give those power. So we're going to give power, just to show you this one, we're going to give power to the left one over here, the left pin. But on these two, we're going to give power to the right side. I'll show you why here in just a second. There we go. So this one's going to the left pin. These two are going to the right pin. I'm going to go ahead and put our LED in, which is our RGB LED. Now, these actually have four pins on them. The first one is your red. The middle one, which is your longest here, that's going to be your negative. Then you got your third, which is green, and your fourth, which is blue. So, yeah, these can also be a bit of a pain to put in. So, we'll put it down here. You're trying to line up four different pins at the same time. That one actually went in pretty well. Now I have three more wires, which are uh, red, green, blue. Obviously, that makes sense to also use. So the first one is red. So what we're going to do is, since this one is connected to the left side here, this left pin, we're going to connect this to the right side pin, just like that. See how it's on the right side there? And that one's on the left side. A little hard to tell, but there'll be a schematic above my head. We're going to connect that to the first one, which is red. We're going to skip the second one because that is negative. So over here we connect it to the right pin. So this one we're going to be connecting to the left pin. Obviously you can do it whichever way you want. Skip that second pin and we'll do the same with the last one. There we go. All right. So the last thing to do is that second pin in, which is the longest one, is give it a little resistor. I believe this is uh, 400 ohms I'm using. And that's going to connect to the negative and the second pin on the LED. Did I get that right? Yep. Something I always recommend is getting like a magnifying glass and a headlamp. That helps a lot. It might look like a dork, but it definitely does help. All right, so we're good. We're going to go ahead, power it on. Nothing's going to happen. But now I'm going to push red. We got red. I'm going to push green. We got green. I'm going to push blue. We got blue. Red, green, blue, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Super simple to do. If you have any questions, uh, want me to expand on this, have any ideas on any other types of the tutorials you want to see. I have a lot of cool devices that I can use with the breadboards, RFID tags, uh, weather uh, sensors, like what's the temperature, what's humidity, that kind of